Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Today is an absolutely beautiful day here in Northern Virginia. The sun is out and it greets my mind. It's actually greeting my mind and my bones with warm kindness, much needed kindness. So today I'm going to share a new gorgeous piece of furniture that was thrifted from downtown historic Fredericksburg. It was actually my first time going downtown and I will be returning because everyone, there are, there's treasures. A journey I must take to go get these treasures in downtown Fredericksburg. So back to the piece of furniture, it's truly a beauty, everyone. Decorating this piece is going to be fantabulous. That's right, fantabulous. But first, before we get into that, I must take a moment to tell you all that I just simply cherish your comments and you need to know this. So many of you really speak from the heart and it touches mine. You all inspire me and make me want to just raise that bar just a little bit higher for you all. Thank you for being here and sharing this journey with me. And everyone, I love you all so very much. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So we're going to be working in this nice empty space right here. Now, if you remember, I had my arched basset mirror right here with the buffet and I moved it because this new piece that was purchased wouldn't fit over in the other area. So I'm just sort of flipping things around. And here it is, absolutely gorgeous, works with my color scheme. It's a nice solid piece, it has four drawers. I love the bottom, is that not gorgeous? And all the detailing in this, this aged gold, it's just a beautiful beautiful piece it was in very good condition there was a couple marks on it but what i do when my furniture gets marks on it i just get, i don't use those furniture markers i use a black sharpie pen and i just color over it and then wipe it off with the tissue but i have a surprise it's not just this buffet table but oh my goodness here we go <gasps> oh, it's a gorgeous hutch look at this piece everyone I mean wow does this not say the little blue fly it does doesn't it it really does say the little blue fly this is so French country, so old world. I, as I'm talking and looking at this piece, I, I, I literally have chills, everyone. It's just, I am going to have so much fun decorating this piece. It was a Facebook marketplace. I found it, the business on Facebook marketplace. And here is the inside. The shelves are nice and sturdy. Now, I won't necessarily be decorating the inside because at the cottage, you know, it's all about storage. So very soon I will be showing you what will be going inside of here. And if I ever did decide I wanted to decorate inside of it, 
I would have to keep one door closed and one open because I just wouldn't want to take away that beautiful embellishment. I just, I just want it just to stay there displayed in all its beauty. So we're going to start up at the top of the hutch with our decorating today. I'm going to place this potted plant that was purchased from Target on one side up at top and this is so nice it feels so real. And these are the larger potted plants and I purchased these for $20 a piece and I'm loving the colors up against this piece already. I placed one on the other side. I'm just bringing the light in right away. Because the piece is so rich in color. The next item is this wire basket. I purchased this piece from Kirkland's. So I'm going to give it a nice good cleaning and then I'm going to put it right up at top. I'm liking where it's going so far. Now inside the basket, I'm going to be adding some greenery down at the bottom with these willow balls right here. There's three of them. And I purchased these at Hobby Lobby. So they're at the bottom and then I placed in a black, you could call it a cake stand or a riser. Um, I will be using it obviously as a riser today. But it was important to have something underneath it. I didn't want any empty space. So this is the smaller pot purchased again from Target. And this one, I believe it was $15. So I'm just going to tuck it off over onto the side. Get some of those branches flowing out. Keep that natural fill. And I'm going to add in this small little chippy goodness lamp that was purchased from Hobby Lobby. It has just the sweetest little glow to it. I'm placing that in the back. So now I just have the little space up front that I'm going to be filling. And since it is spring is coming, I thought, let's start introducing some bird's nests. And this one was purchased from New River Pottery in North Carolina. So now it's time to sweeten up our little garden bunnies. And I'm going to show you how to make a dove, the simplest way anyways, to make a dovetail bow. You just fold it in half and just snip it. And there we have it. I'm actually going to redo it. I didn't, I didn't like that. One part wasn't right. So they originally came with a clear um, white bow. And I just, I wanted to add a touch of whimsy. So here I clipped it and I'm going to remake this dovetail bow. So again, you fold it in half. And with a sharp pair of scissors, those other ones were dull, you just snip it diagonally. And there we have it, a dovetail bow. 
and again you fold it in half I'm gonna cut it. it's just a little bit too long I hate cutting this ribbon I want to utilize every piece of it because this courtly check ribbon or anything from Mackenzie Childs it, it you pay a pretty penny but I had to it was just too long and there we have two dovetails I place them up at top in between the plants add a little bit of whimsy perfect whimsy we have one that's venturing in through the trees and the other one is just relaxing has had enough play and now for the lighting the perfect sweetest just touch of lighting up there on top of the hutch now we're gonna move our way down but before we do that off to the side I have to replace up my I have to replace my pictures and these are um, botanicals that actually were purchased many years ago from an antique store and I just purchased the frames from um, Aaron Brothers now we can start decorating the top of the table and I'm gonna pl uh, place my Mackenzie Childs inspired painted tray I do have a video on this I'm just gonna place it off to the corner and on top I'm going to add this lamp the shade was purchased from Target for $9.99 and the base this was a Facebook marketplace find actually a few items I and I believe this was one of them I can't remember it was actually gifted because I had purchased so much I like all the little detailing on the lamp and I love the pool cord actually I should say chain So we have our golds working, our whimsy going. Now let's add in some more green. These sweet little topiaries, they were purchased in California some years back at a boutique. And I just love all the colors, the green, the gold, the moss, the striping. And look how well they they've held up these are quite a few quite a few years old so I place them to the left and right of the lamp and now I'm going to add something up front and yes another nest since we are going into springtime I can't get enough green going up against the dark rich colors on this piece now we're gonna scoot on over into the middle and just work our way down green definitely is one of my favorite colors actually my favorite and then the blacks and golds of course so this cloche was purchased from home goods and i added a little bit of moss in there with a sweet little bunny he's just been working so hard to get through that meadow he's taking home the perfect carrot to mom so she can make his most favorite dish sweet carrots with heavy cream sauce doesn't that sound yummy so he went and he got a carrot from a garden a, a garden at the little blue fly can you believe that 
I guess the garden has amazing carrots in it. And underneath, I added a wreath from Hobby Lobby. Now we have this sweet willow bunny. And you know, everyone, he needs a name. So I'm leaving this up to all of you. I would love to hear some names. And I'm going to add some garland around him. So it is going to be a boy. So I just started up at top, placed in the end piece, and I'm just going to like swirl, not a weave, I'm just going to swirl around this greenery because he has been a very busy bunny playing in all those berry vines. Gonna tuck it underneath his arm. And just keep twirling it about. And here we have it, and I'm just now going to work with the greenery, just pulling it apart. And giving it that natural feel. I don't want it all bunched up. This is looking gorgeous. I absolutely am loving this, everyone. But we're going to add a few more things in here. I know you're probably saying, come on, Bev, but I can't help it. I can't. I mean, I could, but I guess I don't want to. I'm having fun. How about that? Let's have fun. So I have a couple of these... Um, candle sconces that or lanterns I will be adding in and I was looking for a price there is no price but I do remember they were a clearance item and they were at Joann's so I placed two of them on the table with some flickering candles and these can be purchased at my Amazon storefront Again, I do have uh, some spring decor at my Amazon store. And inside the bunny was perfect to add a candle. How absolutely whimsy, love it. And the light from the lamp, perfect glow all the way around. Now we have to go to the bottom because I had to hide the cords. So I'm using my antique copper uh, boiler, uh, boil, boiler pan that was purchased. It was a Facebook Marketplace find. I love decorating with copper. It's rich. It has that timeless feel to it. And it did a grand job in hiding my cords. So I actually placed a box inside to get some height going, put some burlap in, some greenery. And now I'm going to add this wreath that was actually on clearance at Target last year. Nine dollars. 
And then tucked inside are the birdies. They're all nice and tucked away outside of the rain. Now we're just about done. And just one more thing, one more thing. So we have four knobs here. We can't let them all stay empty. So we have to at least put something on one. So I have this basket that I put together and I actually have a video from last spring. Um, I did a DIY on how to put these together. I took a piece of ivy and put some moss down at the bottom with some berries and just some, some little extra added greenery from Hobby Lobby and a green bow, the ribbon Hobby Lobby as well. And I just placed the ivy all around the handle of the basket. And there we have it just one knob i'm just decorating on one drawer that's it so much goodness going on here on this piece and it is absolutely perfect <laughs>